What's going on, everybody? Good morning. I want to teach you guys how to use Filter Blade in your Path of Exile 2 account. The update recently went through as of yesterday, and I want to make a video to walk you through step by step as quickly as possible to get this on your computer so you can have a good loot filter depending on the kind of content that you want to run today without all the, the BS. So step by step, let's do the following. Go to the description of this video right now and highlight and copy and paste the URL that's available, that link. Use that link, put it in your browser, and you're gonna go to filterblade.xyz, and we're gonna be using the Never Sync Loot Filter because this thing's freaking amazing. So once you've got this website up and running, the first thing I want you to do is make sure it says Path of Exile 2, which it should, then click on Sign In with PoE. When you click on that, a new tab's gonna open up. This is the official pathofexile.com website, and I want you to click Authorize. You're authorizing them to see some stuff. It's gonna allow them to see your basic profile information, access your account name and unique identifier, so you know that this is being applied to your account, which is what you want. It can also view your stashes and items, and then it can let you create or edit item filters, which is exactly what we're doing, okay? Once you've got that, click Authorize. It's gonna log in. You can see that your account name is there. Life is good. Step two, okay? Understand what you're looking at. So this filter here has different levels of strictness. It can be very, very soft filter, which is to say like it's not hiding very much, or it can go all the way for like uber farming, juiced up maps in the Atlas. So depending on where you're at in your adventure, this will allow you to just have all these different loot filter settings that you can apply when you're comfortable and ready to apply them. And typically what's gonna happen is you're gonna run content and you're gonna see, man, there's just too many items in the ground. Like I don't even need to see this stuff, right? That's where the loot filter should do its job to remove that stuff and only show you this, the things like the kind of gear that you wanna see or the kind of currency like exalts or divines, that kind of thing. And if you wanna see before you like download these, see which one's good for you, you can just kind of like use this, this slider bar to just see what the description is how, as they describe what every sort of loot filter setting does really really good stuff okay I'm gonna go ahead and get all of them I'm gonna show you how to install them in this video then I want you to click on styles the next step click on styles normal's fine but dark mode actually in my opinion looks quite nice so we're gonna click dark mode and you can see an example down here of what that loot filter in dark mode is gonna look like and again if you like normal because that's what you want you can see the different uh, coloration treatments and things like that so I'm going dark mode life is good let's go on to the next step you're gonna click on export to PoE once you click export to PoE you're gonna give it a filter name so you you have to give it a name so you can find it and apply it to your account. And that's how all this works. So I'm gonna press space and I'll show you why later on in the video. I'm gonna press space and then I'm gonna click on sync or download. And for me in this video, you could do one of two things, but I'm gonna download all of the different strictnesses. And the reason I'm gonna do that is when I'm playing an alt character uh, or my main, I wanna have a different loot filter and I wanna be able to quickly toggle between the two. And maybe you don't want to, that's totally fine. You could quickly just save and sync. So you sync with a loot filter on the account of the creator. So if never sync kind of updates something on his loot filter, you're gonna get that every single time, but you're not gonna get that for every single different level of strictness. I want all the strictnesses. And then from time to time, I'll go back and then whenever I see uh, Never Sync doing the Lord's work, right? I'll go back and just download these files again because it's not that hard to do. So for me, save and download, get all strictnesses as a zip file, perfect. I'm gonna click get all strictnesses, right hand side of the browser here, you can see it's generating all these files for me, which is awesome. And then in my browser, underscore.zip because the name of my loot filter was just spacebar. And that's because I didn't wanna have to erase a whole bunch of text. And you'll see how that gets applied in a second. So I'm gonna click on the zip file. We're gonna open this up. I'm using WinRAR and I'm gonna go ahead and close down this pop-up. So I've got soft, regular, semi-strict, perfect. I got all these loot filters, life is good. What do I do next? Well, to make it nice and easy so I don't make a mistake from that pop-up, I'm then gonna to go to Path of Exile 2, okay? I'm gonna press escape, options, game. Okay, general, or excuse me, graphics, then game, the second tab here. I click on game, click on the folder. And now this is where all these loot filters are supposed to go. So go back to my WinRAR and then I'll grab this, hold shift, left click, grab all my loot filters and just drag them in. And I'm done. And that's it. And now if I go back in the game, I should see every single one of these loot filters. And there they are. All right, fantastic. And the underscore, that space just prevented me from having to erase never sync or whatever word that I wanted. And now they're all there in the game and I can play whatever I want. So for me, maybe I'll try very strict and I hit save and I'm good to go. Item, uh, item filter has loaded successfully. I'll get out of the way there, you can see. And now uh, that's it. And now that loot filter has been applied to my account and I could go ahead and just play the game. And that loot filter will be applied to everything that I do. That's simple, nice and easy. Use the link in the description, have a good time. And congratulations. Thank you, uh, Never Sync. Uh, the work is insane, man. That guy, whew, he's saving a lot of asses. Much love to you guys. I'll catch you on the next one.